Welcome to another Talk Times with Grimes. And today's a really special one for us all because we're going to get our first walk through and give you a look at this wonderful new building. Now the building is due to be completed by the end of February, which is a few months ahead of schedule, which is just terrific. And we're currently engaged with designers and, and, and sorting out and, and designing all of our furniture and all those wonderful furnishings for the inside. But today is your chance to come through the building with me and to have a look. So let's make a start. So we're going to be really careful walking around the building site, but we've got all our protective gear on. Uh, we're going to see lots of the workmen and the, the trades coming through. Like this gentleman here, come on through, don't stop for us please. So this is our, our, our reception area. This is how you're going to come into our new building. So come through a walk with me. As we come here, there's going to be large screens, interactive screens right around this wall as a welcome statement. All the way down this space, this is a new flexible learning area and it's nine metres long and we're going to have a series of interactive screens right along the length of that wall with more than 80 points of touch. Now that's going to enable all of our students to work together and to, to collaborate uh, in their work and that's really what 21st century learning is all about. It's about ensuring we develop all of those soft skills that our young people need. And this is the facility we're building to help us to achieve that even better than we do right now. Now while it may not look like much right now, this is a brand new lecture theatre. 160 seats. We're going to have sprung wood flooring so we can have dance performances in here. We could have acoustic panels on the walls so that we can have music performances. And the chairs will be electric and push buttons so that they push back into the wall. So we can have 160 seats out here for a lecture or we can push a button and all the chairs go back into the wall so we've got this wonderful space. So as we look out here, you can see all the wood and the scaffolding structures ready. This is for our outside learning deck. Now this learning deck is 30 metres in length, is a double storey void. So plenty of space, very open, beautiful, very airy and bright, and almost 12 metres wide. This is an enormous space. Uh, and if you were around uh, the school on some of these days when the steel was coming in, you'd be amazed at the size of the cranes that had to lift these structures. But as you can see here, you can start to get a scale, uh, an understanding of the scale of this, of this structure. This is an area where we're hoping the students can come and sit and watch the sport. We're hoping that they can come here and, and read a book during the day or just sit out here and socialise together after school. And this is going to be a hub for social activities, not only for the students, but also for, for staff and for parents. And we hope this is a very special place for all of us to come together. Well, I know you're, you can't get uh, smell of vision, but the smell of adhesives and paints is really strong right here at this point. But here's our film and TV studio. So in this classroom space, we can open it up to the large area that you see here, or we can divide it in two and we'll have a green wall and the ability of our students to actually make their own television and, and video sections. Uh, the possibilities here are really quite endless. Students can run their own TV broadcasts and eventually we'll be able to put those right through the school for all to see. So it's a wonderful opportunity for our film and TV students to, uh, to engage and to develop their own creativity and their own programs. But let's have a look at some of the classroom areas. If we just take a look back here for a moment, you'll see the support pillars that run down this space. And if you look across and see the amount of concrete and steel that actually goes beyond these pillars, this is a major engineering feat. Our engineers have done a superb job in designing this building. And all the way around this section here is curved glass. So it's a really amazing structural feat to develop this building and we're really hoping this will win uh, numerous design awards for the work that's been put into it. And now you're about to come up to our, our second floor and this is where we're going to have our new four to six library and new facilities for our staff. So come on up and have a look at the new library space. But this will be the entrance desk for our library and if you look all the way down here 
This is all our new library space. We've chosen a company called Civic Australia to do all the design work for our furniture, to do all the design work for our library, and they're a magnificent company. And we've been down to their factory to actually see their furniture being developed, so we know that we're getting the very, very best quality. But if you look on these walls, you've got the windows and the walls. On each of these walls, there are large interactive screens so our students can plug in their devices and then four or five students can work together on a project with large screens to support their learning. And it may be hard to see through all this scaffolding right now, but this is an amazing view from this level out to the Gold Coast. Just a beautiful space. And again, if you look down, you'll be able to see that learning deck and to see the, the void of space, the amazing volume of space that that has. And that's gonna be quite a grand feature. Now this space here is actually quite special. This is a room that comes off our library, but it's one for a really quiet space. One in which our students can come and sit and gauge. They can get away from the busyness of the rest of the world. They can read a book. They can engage with interactive screens. They can work together. We can even have classes in here. Right against this wall, the full length of this wall will be a series of interactive screens. Again, our students will be able to have multi points of touch with a whole class being able to work on projects at exactly the same time. The only thing we didn't think about is this magnificent view and it'll be pretty hard to do our lessons and study and do all we have to when we've got a view to this to, uh, to look out to. Just beautiful. At AB Passive Cost we always want to attract the very, very best staff and we do that because we know that getting the right teachers, the very best teachers in front of every class is the key to a child's success. So up here we're developing a beautiful staff common room. Now currently the staff common room is very old, it's tired and we can't get all of our staff in one space together. In this beautiful space up here, now we can. But this is not just a space for having lunch and having coffees, although they're important. There are also spaces when staff can come together and talk, and talk about children and their learning and strategy techniques they use to try and, and be the very best that they can be. And at the end of the staff room, we have a large kitchen area for the staff, and then right against the wall, we have an academic research area. Now, as we know, one of the things we want our staff to do is to improve their learning, to be lifelong learners and to continually try and improve themselves. So over in this space here that you're looking at right now, this is an academic research space. This will give our teachers the ability to actually view lessons, record teachers' lessons and then study the techniques that other teachers have used to deliver the most effective lessons for their students. So this is a genuine academic research area. We encourage our staff to do further postgraduate studies, to get involved in leadership programs, and we're launching a really special leadership program for our staff in 2019 uh, called the 15 Disciplines with uh, Loris Consulting. And up here, this is the space where our staff will gather to talk about their, uh, their learnings and to become better at what they do. So right now, we're standing on the ground floor and we're standing underneath that beautiful lecture theatre. And right here is a cafe. So parents, when you're coming to pick up your children from school, why not come along? You'll have beautiful seating out here that you can sit in. You can, you can have a coffee. Students can come here at lunchtime and sit under the, the shade of the, the building and enjoy their lunch, a drink and an ice cream. And this is a space where we can all gather together as a community. Also, again, another really lovely spot to look onto that oval and to watch some sport. So uh, don't sit in your cars. What you do, come on in, sit and have a coffee and, uh, and meet and talk to people and that's what community is about. And this is a space we're generating and creating so you can come in and do that together. We're walking through now the ground floor and this is primarily, this is early childhood. So where we are right now is a playground and we're going to have play structures out there around where that, uh, that wall is. And it looks very dark at the moment, but that's because of all the uh, scaffolding. We haven't got our lights put in yet. But this will be a lovely, bright space, and also a space where students can play outside of the sun as well. And of course, as we know, uh, sun protection is important, so it's nice to have play areas both undercover and outside in the open. So up to now, after school hours care has always been contained in those demountables. And that's unfortunate, but we could never have a dedicated building because we didn't own the land. 
But a few years ago, the college bought the land from the Gold Coast City Council, and we decided that stage one after that purchase would be to redesign the front entry of the school to make it easier for you as parents to come in and come out of the school. And we certainly achieved that in 2015. The second stage of the project is to provide this facility and also improve the traffic arrangements around Marble Arch. And we've got a really wonderful design that'll make it so much easier for parents coming to the school, both at Marble Arch and obviously at the front of the school. Where we are right now is one of our dedicated after school hours care rooms. Quite unique, very different to what you'd see in most after school uh, care centres. Now this one is for our senior primary and there's one dedicated for our junior primary as well. And they have art facilities in them, they have spaces for the students can do collaborative work, for students to play, for students to have somewhere to eat, and also for our students to do their homework. So hopefully by the time they get home to, to you as parents, they've actually done some of that homework already. Here we're looking at the bathrooms, so there are bathrooms between each of the classrooms. So this room is one of our pre-prep classrooms. So the plan is to bring all of our pre-preps from the current building up to here and the students that remain in the, in the building uh, at the edge of the, uh, the college is going to be for our kindergarten students only. Up here we are going to have three pre-prep classes, so we're hoping that our current pre-preps will actually move into this building first in term two and they'll be the very first students to walk into this space which will be very exciting and then we're hoping that in semester two starting July that we'll introduce the third and final class of pre-preps. So this space is actually just a storeroom and a wash area for our pre-preps and you can see that the joinery has already started to come in and the stone benches as well so really special and you can see the standard and the quality of the fittings that we're putting into this space again one of the things we wanted to really ensure was lots of light natural light and students being able to look to the outside environment and this is a passageway uh, off all of these pre-prep classrooms and you can see that students have direct access to the playground which will be outside that's where all that scaffolding is that'll be a playground and again large glass panels lots of light and they can see and actually have the the outside environment be a part of what they see every single day so now I'm standing in the reception area of our new early learning centre and we're going to call it Banjo and Little Friends. Now as parents are dropping their children off there'll be dedicated parking, you'll come in off Marble Arch, dedicated parking for you right outside the building and you'll be able to walk through this reception area into the classroom spaces. You can see behind me that we've just started the, the first coat of painting, it's just been started and there are painters right now uh, painting in our uh, cafe area the cooking space where they'll prepare the meals for the children and you can see that some of the joinery is just starting to be delivered. Today I'd like you to introduce you to Andrew from uh, Alders. So far the building has gone beautifully, the progress has been magnificent and we've been really impressed with Alders but I thought it'd be nice to hear from Andrew because he's been involved in so many projects around the coast and different parts of the state that it'd be really interesting to hear from him on what he thinks about the building. So Andrew I know you guys are, are building this for us but in terms of design what are your thoughts? Uh, it's certainly a project that's very complex in design and has certain aspects that you certainly would not see in any other school building that I've certainly been involved with or visited in my time in the industry so it's certainly going to be one of a kind. The internal finishes and in particular ceilings they're um, quite intricate and just the level of detail that's gone into the architectural specification it really sets it apart. Wonderful. Well certainly the, the tradies and the team you've got here have done an exceptional job and there's no pressure around it but you're on film now so you are going to deliver this building on time to our parents? Of course we will Brian. Terrific, that's what we've all heard <laughs> and that's what we wanted. So Andrew thank you very much for your thanks, time Brian. today and Cheers, thanks mate. for uh, being a part of this project and I hope it's something that you and your team and Alders are uh, very pleased and, and honoured to be a part of as well. Oh we certainly are. Definitely. Terrific. So now we're standing outside and if you look through the building right now You'll see where that scaffolding is, that's where that uh, outdoor learning deck is, you can just see the timber from here. Well, just behind that is where we're going to have large climbing apparatus for our, our youngest of students, our pre-preps to play on. There's going to be gigantic animals, there'll be the sounds of the rainforest all coming through there 
as we create a really special environment for our students to play in. There'll be totem poles to climb on, all exciting and wonderful things. And this just continues the theme of Australian background and environment that we're using in the school. So for now, I hope you've enjoyed the walk through our building. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a sneak peek at the wonderful spaces. And the next time I take you through there, I'm hoping you'll see some carpet and some furnishings and all of those wonderful things that really make it a special space. But for now, thank you for joining me and I hope you've enjoyed Talk Times of Christ.